Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. There was recently a discussion on the Drama Gang discussing airspeed indicators, and they come in all shapes and sizes. Here's one. Notice all the range markings on it for the flaps, the green, the yellow, and the never exceed speed. Here's another one. This is a fun one. This came out of the rear cabin of a Cessna. It's just for passengers who want to see how fast they're going. Notice there's no range markings. So even though it would be in calibration, you couldn't put this in the instrument panel. And then here's the one you normally see in our Cheetahs and our Tigers. Uh, this one does not have the adjustable ring for calibrating true airspeed. I'm going to get a picture of one of those shortly. But again, they come in all shapes and sizes. But you want to make sure that the markings, the red never exceed V and E, the yellow arc, the green arc, and the white arc are all properly marked for your aircraft, and those speeds can be found on the type certificate data sheet for your aircraft, either a two-place or a four-place aircraft. By the way, people go like, why is this one going, showing that we're sitting here in the shop doing 68 miles an hour? All right, we're a fast shop because we know what we're doing. The reason with this is the airspeed indicator, they thought it was clogged, so they go out to the pitot tube with compressed air and hit it with compressed air. Uh, <clears throat> not a good idea. Blew the bug further into the line, and compressed air was blown into the pitot tube to try to blow the bug out. Actually blew the bug further into the line. You need to take it loose from the back of the instrument and blow out the other way. Take it loose with the wing root to blow it out. Um, damage the instrument. This is going to have to go to a repair shop to be overhauled. Not a good day for anybody that day. Just simple operator error.